Okay, let's try to apply all this knowledge we got now, the modes, the pages, the passing tone, into a very common rock progression. I would suggest E minor, C major. <laughs> That's a very common chord progression, and normally a rock guitar player would play what? It would play pentatonic. It sounds great. You could play uh, Aeol uh, Aeolian mode, natural scale. Natural minor, right? Sounds great. You could play triads. But how could you go beyond that and play something more sophisticated? And the idea here would be using this, the modes that you know, and the arpeggios and the passing tones. So for instance, for the E minor, you could use the Dorian mode, or the Frisian mode, or the harmonic minor, the melodic minor. For the C major, you could use Mixolydian, Lydian, Ionian. Right, so uh, let's take as uh, an example the Dorian mode here. So E minor with the 13th. You remember the arpeggios, it's gonna be E minor, G major 7, and B minor. With that, you have already the seven notes of the Dorian mode. When you go to the C major and, and choose the play a mixolydian mode, and you're gonna have C dominant. Remember, from the third of the dominant, you have a half diminished. And then from the fifth, a minor chord. Okay, so now, you're gonna find that you have two different scales to play, and it's gonna be more fun, because now I have like, for instance, E minor here, when you go to C major, the E minor changes to E half diminished. Or you can play G major when it's playing E minor, and when it changes for C major, the G major turns to be G minor. So what's gonna happen is like, you're gonna be playing G major arpeggio when you have the chord changes, G minor. So it goes like this. you can hear the harmony changing. So let's play with the playback now and see what we can do with that.